seen her as the host of Farmhouse Rules, and today she is in our house and in our kitchen making a rustic chicken dinner that'll feed your entire family and have them coming back asking for more. Please welcome back someone that we always ask more of, Nancy Fuller. Yeah. Thank you, darling. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you have everybody asking you to come back over and over again. I'm blessed. We love you, Nancy. I'm you guys blessed. dig in. Yes. You have yes, this please. delicious chop chop chicken in front of you. Chop good does chop this look? chop chop. Chop chop in the pot. Chop, I like chop it. In the pot. Because it's in, in your so stomach. <laughs> easy, everybody. Okay. And there's a lot of chopping, right? There's not a lot of chopping. <laughs> there's not a lot of chopping. It's, it's mm. some celery. It's some carrots. It's some onion. Mm. And and so, and it's a chicken. And a beautiful chicken. And one of my favorite things about this is you don't like to let anything go to waste. So no. even after you've chopped all of your vegetables here, take a look at this, guys. So Nancy saves all of the scraps that people may throw away that they think mm -hmm. are, are garbage. Mm -hmm. Right. To make a stock, right? Oh, yes, I love and that. to make, and just cook it down. Just add some water, cover the giblets, add this. There you go, put it in there. Like this. No harm. Everything. Done. Wow. And then you're finished. And then you just put it on the stove, reduce it so that you have nice flavor. Okay. And and then either freeze it as a, as a later stock or use it for gravy if you mm. want to make gravy, whatever. And when you mm. said the so, giblets, the stuff, because a lot of times the chicken will have things inside. Right. The chicken has things <laughs> inside the cavity. That's so right. you want to remove that. And I have a friend, probably more than one, that didn't remove it. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah. People do that on Thanksgiving too. They forget and to take off. I know. Oh, I, know. Plastic. I yeah. know. It's a problem. So you really sound like I know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> though, isn't it? All right. This so flavor is salt, amazing. Salt and pepper the inside, okay. and the cavity. And then put as much um, sage? sage as you might have mm. inside. Or any sort of spice. Or that anything you like. I use. Um, I use lemon. I use. Any herbs? Onion. I use a couple carrots. Okay. Use a little celery. Nice. And there we go. And now right? it's time to prepare the outside of our chicken to ensure mm. that she has a very crispy skin. Correct. <laughs> Sometimes I leave this lovely little bird unadorned mm. in the in the refrigerator. So, you know, like no wrapping on it or Nothing. anything. Just let it be in there for a couple of hours, even maybe overnight, okay. and let it dry out. And then that's also going to give you a crispier skin. Mm. Now, here's butter, garlic, granulated garlic, granulated onion, and we're just going to... Oh, yeah, use your hands. Don't worry about this brush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be here for three days if I had to Oh, do my gosh, that. look at that. Now, and do then, you have to mix all the spices together no, with the butter? No, I just... But it's pretty, though, isn't mm -hmm. it? I just put the butter on like this, and then I sprinkle everything over it. Oh my gosh, look at it, it's like but a is golden that chicken. not it is. beautiful? That is gorgeous. Okay, a little messy, but that's all right. That's so okay. listen, now we're just going to put in, whoopsie, uh-oh. <laughs> you go wash your hands. Put in a little olive oil in the bottom of that plant. Okay. I need my help in there, Deb. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> listen, don't ever, don't ever just not wash your hands after you've checked raw chicken. Very important. Always have to wash your hands after yes, you that's use. Right. Your hands on So the while thing. you do that, I'm going to put in the celery, the carrots, the onions, <sighs> and then our, um, hmm, I guess I'm going to be washing my hands after you. Our beautiful, <laughs> our beautiful bird who is orange because you've also put paprika on her, oh. haven't you? Oh, that's Any good. hot water, guys? Oh, there's no hot water over there. We forgot to pay the bill. I was looking for that. <laughs> and then you pour a little bit of white wine on top, Nancy. Why is that? We are covering our chicken with white wine to give it a little flavor and a little moisture. Oh, okay. Well, while you pop that in the oven, I'm going to wash my hands. Okay. <laughs> How long does that go in? We're going to put this in for at 425 degrees, pre oh. preheated 425 degrees for at least an hour. Oh, wow. Now, if I you're old, fly, huh? I don't know anybody. <laughs> then <laughs> then anybody. you can just touch the leg and know whether it's done or not. Right. If you're not old, yeah. or if you're Cameron, 
<laughs> you might, you so might, I'm old and Cameron is No, I you. said if you're not old okay, all right. and you're Cameron, okay, all right. I got you, got you. Sorry, I then you might want to use a thermometer. Okay. Very good. But it's 165, very right? To 165 it is very degrees. All right. Okay. And now good. we let her rest okay. for a little while and we played her up. Look how beautiful now, that is. Well, we would have rested her as a whole. Okay. And then, so that the juice is all absorbed into her body. Oh, and okay. how long do you okay. rest for? And I think for something this small, 10 minutes is fine. It's oh, a power right. nap. It's a power nap. <laughs> I don't know and where once, that came from. Uh, <laughs> once again, you don't even waste any of the drippings either. I've noticed that you've, mm. you've put them in your little measuring cup. But what's tricky about using drippings, at least for me, the fat always ends up on the chicken mm -hmm. as well as the drippings. And yep. that's why you have this fancy cup. That's that why I you have this oh. fancy cup. How does it work? A little something it's like so this. That's so cool. Let's see, magic. The fat is all that comes out, or is it the no? The juice. <gasps> the juice comes wow. out, and the fat still stays in. And the fat still stays in. Interesting. There you go. And then well done. you either freeze this, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. for another yeah. day in a container appropriate for freezing, or you use it. Yes. You put it on there. Now while you're you, doing that, Nancy, wow. we all know you've got a fantastically large family, and I'm watching <laughs> you make this, and I'm wondering if this is. The kind of meal you make with your grandkids. It's the kind of meal I make all the time with my grandkids Aww. because they love chicken. Right. And they and can you, chop. And... and they can help, Aww. you know, they can chop, they can peel. Uh -huh. Usually I don't peel much if I can't, if I can help it because right. the nutrition's in the skin. That's mm. right. Um, Delicious. But they love it and they're good at it and it makes kids want to maybe eat the food mm -hmm. after they right. if they were part of making it's it so exactly get them involved. Like, it's involved and take kitchen. them to the shop you know take them to the grocery store with you and take them take them places so that they see the farmers market or they see where the food's coming mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. because the more that they do that then the more they're going to be have a vested interest in yeah. the food they're Absolutely. eating that's right Nancy. thank you Nancy. Again. always great Taste to see this. you Deb have a bite you're going to thank you Act with flavor you can find Nancy on fullerfarmer.com mm. and make sure you head over to hallmarkchannel.com to get this recipe. You're not good.